In 72 hours, the players will be hitting the ice vying for a position on the local Junior B squad. Coaches are looking to fill 10 or 11 positions ahead of the 2018-19 season. General Manager and Assistant Coach of the Dawson Creek Junior Canucks, Colby Wagger, says he's expecting around 40 kids to give it their all at camp. We want to see how fit the boys are, who's ready, you know, who's been working hard all summer. Uh, the boys have had lots of opportunities to keep themselves in good shape and, you know, we're hoping to have a good competitive camp and get them out and, and see what we got coming. The Junior Canucks will host their main camp from Friday, August 31st to Sunday, September 2nd. Players aged 16 to 20 are encouraged to register for camp up until its first day. The prospective Junior Canucks will lace up their skates six times over the weekend for various ice sessions, including one on Friday, three on Saturday, and two on Sunday. Wagger is expecting between 12 and 14 returning players at camp. One player not returning this season is starting goalie Simon Boyer, as he has moved on to become a doctor in Toronto. But a player that is on everyone's minds is Wesley Shipton. Shippy will be back in the lineup and quicker than I can put him down on paper. He's Wesley's driven and he's always been driven and that's what drives, you know, Wesley's success. As far as the seventh man on the ice, the fans, Wagger says he was caught off guard by the community support last year and is ecstatic to see all the fans back in the stands. It makes you feel good when you build a hockey team like that and you have the right people in place, uh, your culture changes and your community supports you. And I mean, I can't thank our community enough for everything they do for these boys because if it wasn't for our community and, and their fan support, we wouldn't have a team. Residents have an opportunity to support the Junior Canucks at their first exhibition game of the season on September 8th at the Encana Event Centre. The team is asking fans to bring non-perishable food items as they're going to try to fill a truck for a local food bank. Puck drop is at 7 p.m.